Hi everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to attempt to do something new for me. I'm going to try to do a craft with me and a chat and craft at the same time. We'll see how we go. I'm going to make some more of these scrap clusters because I finally used them in a journal for the first time as a tuck spot and I absolutely loved how it looked. Um, at the start I wasn't sure if I would, um, you know, they're fun to make, they look cool, but I wasn't sure how they'd go actually on the page in a journal, but when I saw how it looked I was just like, yes, I'm making more. So I made a whole bunch and now I thought I'd just put the camera on and we'll have a play and a chat and go grab this stuff too and craft along with me. So what you'll need, <laughs> scraps. <laughs> uh, let me get rid of this one for a moment. We don't need that. This is my scrap basket. All different things, scrap of papers, book pages, coloured papers, other random stuff, all in here. What I'm going to be using though is the coffee dyed papers for this, these scraps. Then, oh, <laughs> that made a screechy noise. Okay, so this is my little collection of lace scraps that I'll be using as well and of course a stapler is what I use and then maybe some glue if we get to the part where I'll put a bit of ephemera on top to decorate it. So I just got some of my pieces that I'll, I can use to decorate. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about where is one where I've decorated it. Yeah with a bit of ephemera on top. You could also use a button on top or a diamante or a sticker. So many options. <laughs> but I'm going to use these little pieces. I think they'll be perfect. Alright, I'm not sure if we'll get that far, but um, yeah, all I do, I've already got a video of a tutorial on this, but I make all of the page edges ripped just to have a ripped look. And I just rip them all into different sizes, some bigger, some smaller, some medium, so that I can layer them up and everything. And yeah, I'll, I guess as I go along, I'll just mention any tips that I have or anything. But what I thought I'd try to do in this video is actually just chat. <laughs> and I don't know how it will go. I don't know if I need to stop and think, like there might be some silences. And who knows what I'll chat about. <laughs> um, but yeah, I want to try and see if I can do it so I can craft more while I'm on camera. Um, yeah, like other people do. <laughs> Gail is especially my inspiration for this. I just look at the way she can talk and craft at the same time and I'm in awe. <laughs> um, I don't know how she does it, but I'm going to try. I thought I'd just start off with this one because it's such a simple one. You don't really need to think. It's just repetitive and yeah. <laughs> we'll see how we go. So the first thing I want to chat about is I just discovered the most amazing thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. It's called ASMR. Has anyone heard of this? If you would like to start a chat little discussion with me in the comments let's do it um because asmr let me see if i can remember what it stands for it's a bit of a mouthful autonomous sensory meridian response like seriously who came up with that <laughs> um and what it is is basically where certain things um they make you feel like this, oh, how do I describe it? This is why I never knew it was a thing because I had no idea how to describe it or what it was. But the definition that I've seen on the net, because I looked it up once I discovered it through YouTube actually, <laughs> was that it causes like a tingling feeling, like a pleasant tingling feeling, not a bad pins and needle feeling. A pleasant tingly feeling that starts in the head, like the scalp. And that can progress down the back and sometimes to your limbs and the rest of your body type thing. Um, and it's kind of like a euphoric sensation. So it's just um, 
the way I'd call it is therapeutic and there's a lot of stuff on the net about it as well being therapeutic and a way for people to get some sleep <laughs> um, and oh my gosh I'm so sorry <laughs> I just knocked you I'm so sorry if you got sick then no um, so you might have heard me mention in comments in my videos that if I can't sleep I will put on a video where someone's doing a silent flip through and I can just listen to the pages turn and you know I didn't think anything of it it's just what I do and I love it and whatever but that's actually ASMR where the sound of the pages flipping instills that kind of relaxing calm pleasant feeling and I'm not going to be describing this very well uh, and that's the thing because I had no idea how to describe it and even uh, there's not that much on the internet about it really but at least I know it's a thing now like a scientific thing <laughs> oh my gosh and that other people have this oh my gosh it is bizarre because when I was little ever since like all my all my life I had this thing where something from a movie would instill this feeling in me and it would be things like and I can specifically tell you because I would go and replay it rewind play rewind play and one of them would have been in Little Women where um, Jo uh, rustles some papers in a trunk she goes through some papers and another one would have been The Secret Garden where Mary Lennox opens that drawer and she pulls out this key and just the beauty and the grace of how she does that with her hands and the sound of the key knocking the wood like that that does something crazy to me <laughs> like it just like makes me feel so calm or something or <laughs> I really don't know how to explain it it sounds so weird that's why I thought like this is not a thing <laughs> um, and yeah so basically it's it can be auditory and visual and that that's works for me so I need the two together like if <laughs> the sound of ripping paper the sound of pages turning yes that does it but if someone's like quickly doing it like that doesn't do it it's like distracting and gets me anxious no. <laughs> but if someone is calmly you know doing this and is doing such graceful things and it's like a dance with their hands and with the paper and it's just like oh so elegant and <laughs> I, I have no words and yeah occasionally yeah I like it in general but in these moments sometimes I would feel this tingling in my scalp not like a huge tingling and it was so vague that I had to when I read the definition of ASMR about the tingling I was like is that what I feel so I literally went to a video to just check and I watched a, pa a video of people turning pages and yes I did notice that my scalp does have that tingling feeling <laughs> it's very subtle for me I'm not sure if other people feel it a lot more um, and <laughs> I don't know if I'm explaining it at all very well here but if anyone can relate let me know because when you find out that something is a thing and that other people have experienced something that you've experienced it's just like oh my gosh this is the best thing ever. C.S. Lewis says in a book how friendships are made sometimes and this euphoric moment where you realize you're not alone in the world and you and you have this random conversation with a person and you're just sharing something and they say these words me too and those two words can just be the best feeling because you're just like oh my gosh there's someone else who understands me there's someone else who gets this and this ASMR thing I had no idea that anyone else would feel that <laughs> and for other people it can be the sound of rain it could be oh, I don't know some of them like for me the sound of rain doesn't at all <laughs> give me that feeling it, but definitely the sound of papers and things and even oh, like the Karate Kid too when they did the Japanese tea ceremony I would rewind that and watch that over and over again too because just the way she would pour the tea the water and stir it and it was just so graceful and the sounds of the water splashing okay I don't like rain but that particular one I liked and I don't know 
cooking, watching people cooking, that's another one that he said on the net that can induce this feeling. And yeah, I, I don't like cooking, but I have always kind of... Um, my sister used to cook a lot, well she still cooks a lot, but when I was a kid I would watch her cook and I really enjoyed it. But I don't think it gave me the tingling head feeling. But in terms of, I just thought it was, you know, relaxing to watch. Especially when you have cook sh people on cooking shows and when they have glass bowls so you can see them mix things and pour things in and you hear the chink of the spoon on the bowl. So yeah, that, that kind of thing, I can see now why that would appeal to me. <laughs> it doesn't do it for me like ripping of paper and uh, <laughs> the turning of pages does, but yeah, it's just really weird. So let me know if you are like that. <laughs> um, and now, yeah, now that I have this name to it, I can kind of take it more seriously and go, yeah, this is something that really does impact me and is an actual thing. And so I will, <laughs> not that I wouldn't stop watching videos of flip throughs to help me get to sleep, but now I can actually understand it more and know the weight of it more. You know, I'm just realizing that 10 minutes of ripping paper isn't really what I was planning to do in this video. I was more hoping to actually make the clusters. So, But it does actually take a lot of time to prepare the papers before you can make the clusters, I find. And yeah, I don't do one cluster at a time. I get everything ready so they can make 10 at a time kind of thing. And yeah, it's a bit time consuming ripping papers. <laughs> So after that little spiel about ASMR, i got nothing else to share. <laughs> that was all my plan to share is that one. Oh, maybe though, if anyone is interested, I was going to try and do an... There's these things called ASMR videos, and that's how I discovered it. And basically, people will do silent flip-throughs of their journals, and they will write in the title of the video ASMR. And I saw that occasionally and it was just like, oh yeah, whatever, don't know what that means. I thought it was like a design team project thing or something. Or some kind of um, digital kit maker or something. But then I saw Liz at the Paper Project do one and ASMR and she explained it. A silent flip through. And that's what introduced me to this whole thing. And I had been planning or playing around with the idea of doing that anyway, a silent flip through, because I know how much I love them. I just haven't gotten around to it yet because I, <laughs> I I get too attached to what I create and want to therefore share the heart behind it, the reasons for my choices and get that across rather than just a silent flip through. But I don't know, maybe I should go do both or something because some people do that on their channels. They'll do a silent flip through and one where they talk about it. But yeah, let me know if you have any thoughts on that and what you would like to see as well. So, alright. <laughs> Let's uh, try and do this a bit quicker so that we can actually get into the making of the clusters. Well, Gail actually, she does the longest um, craft with me videos, like an hour sometimes longer, I think. My camera only allows, what, half an hour, but I guess, oh sorry, keep doing that, I guess I could just keep on going until I finish, <laughs> not sure if I completely bore everyone, but, <laughs> but this is what I want to do more this year, you know, all these things that I want to do more of, craft with me's, journal with me's, um, flip throughs of my own journaling. That would be really good if I could do that. <laughs> and now comes the layering part. So I just get different textures and try to put them on the page. And then I try to get one little bit of lace or something to go on it. Hmm. That'll do. And 
staple it. Alright, <laughs> one done. How many can I get through in this video? So, also, I was thinking... Yeah, I like the chats, so it's not just me talking. So, if you just want to leave comments in the videos as I talk or something, I'll always read them and respond and everything. So, feel free to just respond to anything I say. And one of the things, like, I have questions. I love questions. And I just like chatting about journaling and whatever, you know, I am passionate about. So, what is, like... Okay, hang on. With my journal challenge, it's all about journal prompts and that kind of thing. And I was thinking, is there a prompt that you would like to see me journal about? It could be anything. And I was wondering, maybe I could even do like a you vote or you suggest the prompt for the journal challenges. Or unless you want me to come up with them, that's fine too. But happy to if other people want to come up with the prompts let me know but yeah if you have a prompt that you would like to see me journal on do let me know because I think that would be really fun like I love journaling and I'll always journal my own things anyway sorry did you even see that I'm not even looking at the camera hope this is in frame hope this is in focus <laughs> um, so yeah if you have any suggestions I would love it and that will also be motivation to journal and yeah, if there's anything you want to see as well, want me to share in a video, I would definitely do that. Um, it might just take a bit of time, because I want to make sure it's good, like, and it takes a bit of thought to present it and how best to show it. And you have to prepare things in advance sometimes if it's a tutorial, get every, all the materials ready and have it ready to go. <laughs> and anyway, um... Sorry, I'm thinking what I'm doing. Yeah, so how simple are these, by the way? <laughs> I really like that one. Um, and if you have any questions for me or anything, I don't know. <laughs> Feel free to ask in the comments or anything. I like to chat in the comments. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just using all these old things from other projects that I made from journals. And I try to keep the vintage looking book pages so that I can use them for this. Because the scraps go quick actually. Like you think, man, I've got so many coffee dyed paper scraps and then you make a few clusters and they're gone. There's a green bit. I had a green bit of lace somewhere. Where is it? <laughs> Can't find it. Oh, I want to keep you out and you because I want to make some blue ones. Okay, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> I'll use those for next time. I'm sure I saw. Where'd that green one go? <laughs> yes. This is fun. <laughs> I always misplace things. And I'm glad I'm not the only one. I was watching one of Gail's videos and she was sorting stickers and she had, uh, what was it? I think labels or something. And she misplaced the labels. <laughs> and I don't know if it was in one of the folders that she put the stickers in or something, but I was like, yep, I'm glad it's not just me. <laughs> All the time it happens. No, seriously, I don't know where it is. <laughs> Unless I literally pull everything out one by one. Or unless I've covered it over, or unless I was seeing things. <laughs> oh my gosh, how funny. Well, then, 
I'm kind of... Alright, hang on. We just have to keep going. Let's do this. It'll turn up, right? <laughs> Yeah, and so what I was thinking as well, if you have any questions or any topics you want to chat about and we get chatting <laughs> in the comments, I would, for the next Craft With Me video, I would reply to those questions while I'm crafting in it or bring up whatever conversation we get into in the comments in the video. <laughs> I don't know. Just playing around with ideas. Um, it's starting to rain. I hope that doesn't bug you if it uh, <laughs> gets a bit louder. And that has been one thing that I have been struggling with a little bit with filming because it has been pouring and pouring and pouring at the moment. So I haven't been able to film as much as I would like because of the rain. <laughs> it's been so loud. This is an interesting one. Lots and lots of words on it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're calling it a monsoon trough. Which, I don't know if I've ever been through a monsoon trough before. Maybe I have and I just didn't know that's what it's called, but... Yeah, the rainy season up here is crazy. My first few years when I moved to Bowen, it was so dry. We're in drought and everything, and we're all praying for the farmers to get rain and all of that. And then the last couple of years when I've been here, January has just been full of rain. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> That'll do. Oh, and the other thing I was going to say was... Um, what was I going to say? Sorry, getting distracted. Was... Yeah, either these will already be up in my shop or I'll put them up for this video. We'll see how, how motivated I am. Um, these clusters, yeah. I've been putting them into Happy Mails and as freebies and in my mystery packs. But I thought if anyone was interested, I could also put them just as a separate listing. I was also thinking of doing a listing where it was um, like a handmade pack. So you'd get some clusters, you get some of my napkin envelopes, you get some of my embellished paper clips, some of my pocket pages, some of my clusters, tuck spot, um, things. <laughs> and what else have I made? Oh, my art cards, bookmarks, anything I've done that's, I've done myself. Um... Yeah, if anyone was interested, I could definitely put that up as a listing on its own as well. Um, and yeah, all, I've got all these ideas of things to put up in my Etsy. I've got some packs as well, some JJ, or Junk Journal, kit pack type things by theme. But yeah, it takes a bit of effort to <laughs> put them together, take photos of them, put them on Etsy, and then promote them either through Facebook, boutique group or um, YouTube video so it's a lot of effort a lot of time and that's why yeah I don't really <laughs> put up heaps and heaps of um, well I might have them up in my shop but not necessarily do a video or even put them up in the boutique like often my journals <laughs> I'm so slack in putting them up in the boutique but yeah I am um, thinking, thinking of 
what elements I want in this. Hang on. Blue. We want blue. Because of this blue paper. How are we going for time? Alright, might have five more minutes left or something. Um And for anyone who has stuck with me right to the end of this long video, I'm going to do a sneaky giveaway. <laughs> um, someone will win some of my clusters that I'm making right now. And yeah, all you have to do to enter, <laughs> for, what, what's the thing that I do for this? Just be a subscriber, like the video and leave a comment letting me know, I don't know, <laughs> how do I distinguish Actually, oh no, I don't know, I should, I never think this through, do I? Oh my goodness. <laughs> how do I distinguish? Because, like, anyone can leave a comment, but how do I know they've watched it all the way to the end and that they're entering the giveaway? And then I don't want to, it to be um, given away that you are entering a sneaky giveaway, because then it won't be sneaky. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Bonnie is always good at this. She is so prepared for these and she even has little questions for people to answer written down. I'm like I'm really not ever that prepared. So um Hang on, I've still got five minutes to think of something. <laughs> Hope he doesn't cut me off before I get to it. Um what can I do? What can I do? Hang on, let me think. Um, well, how about, <laughs> I can try to think of a video for you to go visit and comment on, because that's what <laughs> Bonnie does, <laughs> and I, tr I did that for my fir first sneaky giveaway, and I got you to comment on my very first video, so I can't use that one again. <laughs> um, alright, let's do it this way. I will link below one of my videos and you just have to you'll click on it and it will be a surprise <laughs> what I link to and you need to leave a comment on that video saying that you're entering this give this giveaway does that make sense <laughs> I hope so um, yeah I'll have one Besides the tuck spot tutorial of the um, embellishments, besides that one, because <laughs> I'll, I'll link that below in case anyone wants to see that actual tutorial, I will link only one other video, and then that's the video you have to go visit and say that you're entering this giveaway. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry if that's so confusing, oh my goodness, I never think this through. But I've been planning on doing a sneaky giveaway for a while and I was supposed to do it in January and it didn't happen so let's just do it now <laughs> I'll have to remember to <laughs> link a video now <laughs> I'm notoriously bad at um, remembering to link things I will I'll watch my video after because I don't check anymore I just upload and then check the video afterwards <laughs> well no, sometimes I don't even check and I'm just wanting to watch it for fun I don't know um, and then I'll hear myself say oh I'll link to this and I'll link to that and I'll be like oh man now I have to go back to that video and link to them <laughs> so I'm sorry if I ever don't link to what I say I'll link to because I, uh, I keep forgetting by the time I get through a video I forget what I've said. <laughs> Alright, this video I'm just going to let it run out and when it stops, it stops. So thank you so much for crafting along with me and I'll see you in the next video as I continue doing this. <laughs>